quick rundown is in two weeks from today I'm moving from LA to New York City. I'm so freaking excited but things have been hectic, messy, chaotic, crazy as I plan for this move and as I try to get ahead a little bit with work so that I can focus on the move and not feel stressed out about work. How am I doing with that? Well, not that great. I'm trying though. The next two weeks it is game time. Like we're moving. Like it's happening. No more dilly-dallying around like I have been. <laughs> Although I don't feel like I have been, but it's just been kind of this thing that's like, oh yeah, that's happening at the end of April, but that is two weeks away now. So it's crunch time. In the midst of all this chaos, I am well aware that how I'm taking care of myself and my personal energy is very important. And if you watched some of my more recent vlogs, that has been something that I've mentioned, that I have not done a great job of taking care of myself. I've just been throwing myself into work, not sleeping well, not doing much self-care. And so with my move fast approaching, I really wanna try to focus some of my energy on self-care and just getting my vibes right to hopefully help this process go more smoothly. So I do have a lot of work to do this week, but I also decided that the underlying theme of the week is going to be self-care, but not just any old self-care. It is going to be a glow up edition. And I want to arrive in New York feeling my best, looking my best, feeling confident. So the week of self-care is starting with a massage today at one of my favorite places in LA, the Now Massage. I also forgot to mention that I am due for my period this week, which was another reason why I thought that this week was just an appropriate week to focus on self-care. Moving is already a stressful time, and then you add hormones on top of that, and it's like kind of scary to think about. <laughs> so knowing that I'm going to start my cycle this week, I'm like, what can I do to just help myself get through the next week and a half, you know, the PMS and then the cycle itself as calmly as possible. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. That was quite possibly the best massage I've ever had. I love the Now Massage, honestly. It's my favorite place. It's such a vibe in there. Everyone is always so nice, so friendly. And they sent me home with a little gift, which is so sweet. We'll have to open this up later when we get home. Oh my gosh, I still have blood. <laughs> ah, it lines all over my face. That's the sign of a good massage. <laughs> I'm gonna head home and make some lunch because I'm starving. And then I have a podcast interview. Now listen, I don't wanna hear it. I know I look crazy, but I decided to tint my eyebrows and do a half mask because my skin is breaking out a little because of my cycle. I'm using my favorite mask for acne, which is the unblemished mask. And then I'm tinting my eyebrows the same way I have been tinting them for like years. I have actually a tutorial up on my YouTube channel. I will link it below for you, but let's open up my little gift from the now. And then I'm gonna have dinner and chill for the night. We're so glad you were able to relax and recharge with us. Enjoy a few of our products to help amplify your self-care routine. They're so sweet there, honestly. Some sage. Definitely taking this to my new apartment. <laughs> Getting the vibes right. Ooh, eye masks. We should do these in the morning. A new rose quartz gua sha. The now is next level, honestly. This is so pretty. Ooh, lip balm. Oh, I love this stuff. This is their hemp calm balm. It's like CBD balm. This stuff is amazing. Thank you. 
good morning. Happy Tuesday. Got a little bit of work done this morning. Got in a little self-care. And now I am heading to Pilates to get a little workout in. I have quite a busy day full of podcasting. I literally have podcast interviews back to back from 12 until 5.30. We have a busy day, so let's get after it. Just finished Pilates and since I am on a time crunch, brought this little plant-based probiotic coconut yogurt drink with me to drink. It has some good plant-based protein in it and I can drink it on the way home since literally right when I get home, it's gonna be time to record. Time to podcast and the cramps have begun. So my heating pad is definitely necessary. Six hours of podcasting later, I somehow found the energy to make some, it's kind of like chili, but it's more just like a veggie stew. Cause I really need to go grocery shopping, but I don't have time and I wanted something nice and warm. We have some beans, spinach, crushed tomatoes, garlic, onion, and potato. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn this on low and then take a shower because I have not showered since Pilates this morning and that is disgusting. I did wash my face. But like, yeah, it's time for a shower. Good morning. We are continuing the self-care routine today with getting my done my roots are so overgrown I'm so ready to have my hair refreshed also if you see these little stickers on my face I am trying out these patches for dark spots they're by the brand hero cosmetics I use their pimple patches because my skin does scar pretty easily and I have some dark spots even though my skin is mostly clear aside from this little one that I have a pimple patch on so I thought you know since I'm gonna be literally sitting getting my hair done all day why not put some dark spot patches on and see how they work. I've had them sitting in my bathroom waiting to be used for quite some time. So I'm excited to see how they work and I of course will report back. Also period update, my cycle is definitely here and the cramps are like level 100. So I brought one of these little stick on heat patches with me to help with cramps. It's actually for back pain, but I wrap it around my belly and it works like a charm. Yay, there is nothing like fresh blonde hair. We love that. If you are in LA and you're looking for an amazing colorist, definitely go and see Tori. I'm gonna tag her Instagram in the description box below. Since everything happening in the world, she started working out of her garage, which is amazing. She's like set it up like a little salon and it's so casual and comfy and fun and just love her. So shout out to Tori. It is now three o'clock and I am starving. I've only had a banana and a go macro bar. Still have my little patches on. <laughs> No shame. Actually, just her next client moved to New York from LA a year ago. So I made a new friend, which is so fun. Met her, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Please ignore my patches. <laughs> I'm going to head home, make some lunch, walk the dogs, and get a little bit of work done now. Traffic was so bad that I picked up Sweet Green because I could not even bear the thought of stopping at the grocery store. So I got the shroom mommy. This is my order if you're curious. Good morning, happy Thursday. No self-care today. Today is a full on work day. I have Patty with me, we're gonna shoot some content. I can't believe in two weeks from today, I will be on a plane, a one-way plane to New York City, insane. But um, yeah, content, work, editing podcast episodes, laundry, and anything else I can squeeze into today. Workout is finito. <laughs> Got my workout done, stopped at Whole Foods, got a little bit of moving stuff done, as you saw, which that's gonna be in 
another video. And now we are continuing the self-care. We're gonna whiten our teeth, do a little mask, and then head to get some injectables. Hi, honey, are you busy? I'm vlogging, you wanna say hi to YouTube? Hi, YouTube! You know I love you guys. What's going on, mama? Oh, I'm just calling to ask you if I should go get Botox before our trip. <laughs> oh, I'm going in like 30 minutes. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, well, then you probably think I should. <laughs> no, not necessarily. It's all about feeling good and whatever makes you feel good, you know? I feel more confident with it, so that's why I do it, you know? So funny, my mom did, didn't even know that I had an appointment today. And here's the thing, I know that injectables like Botox and filler is a little controversial, but I've always been open with it, that it's something that I've been doing for years. And I started doing Botox years ago, preventatively, as well as to help me with tension in my jaw. And I like to just do a little bit as I go, and it helps me feel confident and good. And I'm not ashamed to um, share about it, you know? I like to keep it natural, and I don't like to like go overboard with it, but I really enjoy it because it makes me feel good and that is all that matters i'm gonna put my little whitening strips on get a little bit of work done before my appointment My appointment went very well. I'm very happy with everything, although I am still slightly swollen, but I've been going to cosmetic injectables for literally eight years. A long, long, long time. And I just love everyone there and they just do such a good job. And yeah, can't recommend them enough. Actually, speaking of which, I was in there and I was chatting with the owner because I asked her if it was okay if I vlogged and she was like, oh yeah, you should just invite all of your YouTube friends in for a free service. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And she said she would honor offering you guys a free lip flip, which is amazing. And I asked her, I was like, free with purchase or, and she's like, no literally free no strings attached they don't have to buy anything like just come in for a free lip flip how nice is that if you want to book that i'm gonna leave their instagram down in the description box below and she said if you just call the front to book and let them know that i referred you and that you saw on my youtube video when i was in there vlogging that dr solomon said that you could come in for a free lip flip so let me know if you end up going. I feel like you're gonna love them. I love them. Obviously stopped at home quickly so I could get my ice roller. Fed the dogs, walked the dogs. Also ate a really quick lunch. Sorry I didn't vlog. I really didn't have very much time because now I am getting my nails done. Here is the nail reveal. Nice and bright and fun and colorful for Easter weekend. And that officially concludes the week of self-care. I feel like my cup is filled up, I'm feeling good. I'm starting a new vlog tomorrow, which is my last week in LA. Crazy. So I'm picking up the camera tomorrow for that. So for now, I'm gonna run a few errands, figure out what's going on for dinner, edit this, all of that good stuff. But thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you do some self-care for yourself today or throughout the week ahead. If you're not already, I would love it if you would subscribe because I have a lot of good stuff coming up. We're literally moving to New York City. Like the movers are coming in 10 days. Um, so yeah, so I'd love to take you along the journey with me, take you along the ride. And either way, I hope you have an amazing week ahead. Yes, if you like root beer, do yourself a favor and try Olipop root beer. <laughs> it's not sponsored, just really good. Okay, I'm rambling. I love you and I will see you in my next video.